One one question um, which was asked by um, Endac on Twitter was, um, why is it taking Ford so long to bring an EV to market? He says that they had the think um, and then ditched that. So I wondered um, whether you could respond to that. Yeah, you know, I mean, in terms of electric vehicles, of course, we've got a great deal of experience. And, and long before um, our work with Think, we had the Ranger in production, the electric Ranger here in North America and sold thousands of those. Uh, you know, the, the key about electric vehicles is it's all about the battery. And um, that electric Ranger used a lead acid battery. And it really didn't have uh, the range or the uh, long-term uh, reliability that you really need to have for the commercial market today. And plus the weight and the size. It was a truck because basically the truck bed was filled with the battery. I mean, it, was, uh, it took that much space to take and accommodate the battery. So with the onslaught of the lithium-ion technology, and, and we're quite uh, positive now after working for many years with our supplier partners on battery cell technology, that the lithium ion can be done in a, uh, safely and durably for um, all of these types of applications. And by the way, it's a different cell for the battery electric vehicle than it is for a plug-in hybrid than it is for a hybrid. Uh, hybrid vehicles need more power. Battery electric vehicles need a lot more energy. And the plug-in hybrid needs both power and energy. So you actually end up having three different types of cells. Uh, but, you know, from um, Think, you know, at the time, the uh, range and the affordability of that Think vehicle simply didn't match the market. The market demand and pull was just not there. And going forward, um, also that size of vehicle, although very appealing to certain parts of the world, is a much lower volume. Than, our C, than C vehicles and CD vehicles. So our strategy today is really based on the knowledge and the learning we've had from all of the programs we've done. And what we're doing is we're making sure we're going on not only global platforms, but the highest volume growing, volume, uh, growing uh, global platform so that um, each market around the world, we have a product that matches that market. Uh, because it's in that market today. So I think, you know, this will help us, you know, ease the introduction and hopefully accelerate it.